What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna check out Project Cars 3 on my secondary computer here and it should be able to play it pretty well if my laptop could and the Steam Deck did all right. So still, I was curious how it would do. So before we jump into the game, as usual, we'll go over the specs for anyone who's just coming in for the first time just to see this one video. We got ourselves a 5800X 3D, just stock, left alone, haven't done nothing to it. Then we got ourselves a RTX 3090. It's a founder's edition. It is overclocked, but it doesn't have like a custom BIOS or any like unlocked power limits or anything crazy like that. Just maxed power limit slider, little bit of an overclock on it. I think we got like a 70, a plus 70 on the core and 420 on the memory. So anyway though, then we got ourselves a X570 ASRock Tai Chi motherboard. We got a EK all-in-one 360 millimeter all-in-one uh, cooling the CPU. Then we've got 32 gigs of 3600 megahertz DDR4, it's CL14 and it's dual rank. Then we got a Corsair RM1000 watt power supply uh, powering the whole thing and then what we all look at is a alienware 3440 by 1440 ips ultra wide monitor it's 34 inches it is ips as i said it's got g-sync but no free sync or anything fancy like that so it's just g-sync compatible unfortunately a lot of the newer monitors let you do both which is pretty cool yeah that's probably why i'm gonna upgrade to that cool 45 inch corsair one that they just came out with i think that'd be sick and then like i said in a cut of my videos i'll probably just give this one to my mom so she can enjoy some games same thing with that gp i'll probably just give her that gp when i upgrade once i move into the new house i want to make like an all AMD build. So I think the 1500X3 is still perfectly fine chip for 1440p, but I kind of want to get one of the newest AMD GPUs and shove it in there. But anyway, we're rambling. So why don't we get into the settings and then go and hop into the game. Here we go on the secondary computer here on ultra wide. Oh, I have fucked up the anastrophic filtering, but whatever. That honestly does not really affect performance much. It just won't look quite as good as it could. So if you're wondering why it doesn't look quite right, that would probably be why. But it doesn't really do nothing to the FPS, though. Anyway, let's jump into the game now, shall we? Well, all right, here we are on the secondary computer at Ultra Wide with a 3090 and 5800X 3D. So let's go see how it does. Not breaking time, but whatever. Could have been worse. Good driving. That's third place. Oh no. They're mad at me for going off the track. Whatever, I'll just have to get back up there again. They're not going to make it easy for me. I'm, like, surrounded right now. All right. Back into third again. Didn't take me too long. But I didn't like super crash or anything. They just like made me invisible and slow for a little bit. So that's what it is. And now we're in first. All right, go first, go. Hey, I finally did that corner without crashing. It might not have been perfect, but I did it. Last lap now. Hold it together. This is where it really counts. All right, don't go over the track this time. Got a little tail happy there. But for now, still in first. Whoop. All right, better. Been crashing the wall. Hey, perfect corner. I'll take it.
Uh-oh. Okay, we didn't crash crash, but they're gonna be right on my ass now. Oh shit. Again, could have been way worse. Oh shit, can I get my second win? Ah, uh, nope. I fucked up the braking there. We got fucked. So I'm just gonna bash into this wall for fun. And then we'll cut this guy off. All right, now let's go cross the finish line. I was almost last, but not quite. Anyway, though, runs very well, so might as well move on to some camera now. Well, all right, let's get some camera recorded gameplay now and more than likely lose again. I've gained a position, but it was with a dirty overtake. Oh, that perfect. I kind of slammed into a wall there at the end, but all right. I still feel like this would probably be one of those games that's a lot better with a racing wheel. can't wait to start playing this game for real and get out of this view and stop using automatic and then I think I can actually get to actually winning races more often than I lose them.
Well, at least I was still in the single digits this time. But still got absolutely decimated. But all right, and with that, let's go wrap the video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Project Cars 3 on the secondary PC here, and it handled it effortlessly. I figured it would, but it's always nice to check. You never know, just because you have a PC computer does not mean games are going to run smooth on it. I've had some games that run great on this guy, but have some stutters on the main computer, even though it has a better GPU. The CPUs can trade blows here and there. Some games, that one's better, even with the same GPU. Some games, the 1300 KF's better. Now, with that new 7800X 3D that came out, that thing seems to just poop all over my all my products processors but still I game at 4k and higher resolution so I don't think either one that thing is worth tearing this thing completely apart and upgrading or tearing the other computer completely apart getting new water blocks all that shit just to get what a couple percent more FPS fuck that I'll wait until I can see what Intel comes out with next and if I need to I still need a little more CPU power for that 4090 so I'm hoping that their next chip you know is actually pretty won't bottleneck I guess it's gonna say pretty decent because it's not like the 1300 KF is bad but it needs more power 4090 is a beast it wants more but anyway, that is about all we got for this particular video. It's time to move on to the main computer with this game and then wrap it up after that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.